Hey guys, Tay here. Today we are at the Shady Nook Farms to pick out our pumpkin for the year. We'll probably pick out a couple and then we will go and carve them. It's a very beautiful place and I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the fun little clip of the orchard and enjoyed the music. Um, we gotta clean these pumpkins up. As you can see, they're quite dirty. And then we will get to designing our pumpkin. Alright guys, I got them all cleaned up. So the tools we're going to be using today is a regular knife serrated hopefully that if i need to get more they're in the drawer next to me i also got this thing um and on the back it has some weird things i know these aren't the best to use but it's all i got um if i have to go get my dad's power tools i will um so i got the candles and i got some tootsie pops to snack on while I'm doing this. So I came up with my own design. I don't know how it well it's gonna work out, but um, let's see if I can do it on this pumpkin. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now that we have our thing, our design on here, let's start cutting it open. Maybe not, I, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't cut a pumpkin in like, Ooh, that was a close one. Sorry, mom. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't have my parents' supervision today. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to be more careful because I almost cut myself. So hard to cut open. Alright, I think I got it. When I was really, really young, um, my, it was Halloween, like literally Halloween, the day of Halloween. And we were waiting for our parents to, um, <laughs> waiting for our parents to go. And so we hadn't even gotten in our Halloween costumes yet. And it was, I was just, you know, being a kid. And my, I don't know why, but I had a wooden spoon in my mouth. And I'm like being a kid, I'm gonna climb up onto this bed and I need both hands. So I put the wooden spoon in my mouth and you know how kids are not coordinated whatsoever especially trying to get up on a big bed well <laughs> i personally uh it's <sighs> i slipped and i jammed the spoon down my throat on halloween so panic ensues because I'm coughing up blood. And my mom takes me to the hospital because, or the doctor, I don't remember which because I was pretty young, but no trick or treating for me. It, it, it ends up that way. So my mom, and sister go trick-or-treating that night and we get a lot of candy that year and I had to stay home I was upset I was so upset but we got a lot of candy that year because my sister went from door to door can I get some candy for my sister who uh, who accidentally got a spoon shoved down her throat and then oh fiasco or just prove my sister is sick. And so we got like sympathy candy that year. Lots and lots of sympathy candy that year. <laughs> um, but there was, um, but ever since that day, I always noticed in, um, and during the fall, I've always noticed during the fall, our family is technically cursed. We just have this weird thing. Something always bad happens in fall or around fall. And if nothing happens in fall, it transfers over to, to the next. Um, but it, it transfers over into the next month closer to winter um and things happened like uh once again my spoon getting shoved up my throat and then there was cars breaking down 
unfortunately, fam family members and animals passing away. And it's just been a whole fiasco of that kind of stuff and whatnot. So I, whenever Halloween comes around, um, I'm, I'm very superstitious. I am a, when, especially, or when fall hits, I'm very superstitious and I'm always trying to be extra careful because you want to know what happened this year? Yeah. What happened this year was two cars broke down in our family and then the third car caught on fire. Yeah, that was fun. So <laughs> let's finish up the car getting all this gunk out and we'll see and then we'll get to carving. Okay, we have it all cleaned out as you can see. Or I'm gonna maneuver so you can see me cutting the pumpkin. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I hope you liked the, the little insight onto me um, with the curse of the family. So my GoPro overheated for some apparent reason. It's practically brand new. And so I had to switch to my phone camera. Um, let's finish. I'll finish up with this and we'll show you the finished results. So it's official. I officially cut myself. <laughs> uh, Neosporin and a band aid. Thankfully, it's not that big, but um, it's just a little, like, kind of like a paper cut. Alrighty, guys. I am finished with the pumpkin and let's show you the final results. Ooh, that looks so cool. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on this fun adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!